1887. Father Gabriele Amorth, leader exorcist of the Vatican, is referred to as to a village wherein a man is stated to be possessed through a devil. In line with the local priest, the person is showing classical symptoms of ownership such as speaking English no matter not having spoken that language ever earlier than. Right now, the possessed guy sees him and brags that he is Satan. This makes Amorth doubt the complete ownership claim, so he just sits down and starts speaking to the person. He asks the intended devil what's his call and to describe hell. However the man is averting his questions with the aid of threatening his lifestyles. Due to that, Amorth indicates him the Saint Benedict medal and sees nothing inside the guy's eyes. He then begins taunting his abilities until Amorth tricks the devil into possessing a pig to flex his electricity. Simply then, a villager shoots the pig lifeless. After that, he calms the person down and broadcasts that the Satan is long gone. A few weeks later, over in Castile, Spain, Julia and her two youngsters, Amy and Henry, arrive at an old Spanish abbey called San Sebastian Abbey which is her past due husband's sole inheritance after his surprising dying about a 12 months in the past. However, the rebellious Amy isn't always satisfied about them moving to Spain while Henry, alternatively, has no say in this due to the fact he literally doesn't communicate ever considering his father died. As they enter the abbey, Julia comments that it's now not so terrible, but Amy mockingly says that it's far relaxed. With that, the two children start seeking out their rooms even as Julia is brought to Father Esquibel through the foreman. The priest says that he's genuinely awaiting them to in my view welcome the family to the diocese. In turn, Julia thank you him and assures him that they may be being cautious in keeping the original shape of the abbey, with respect both to his husband's own family call and the church. Shortly after, Amy is brushing her enamel whilst she hears any person knocking. At first, she doesn't thoughts it, however it happens once more so she tells her brother to forestall it and leave her room. But, there goes the knocking again so Amy finally knocks lower back. Unusually, Henry is already taking walks around the house when it happens so it isn't him that knocked the one third time. Talking of whom, the boy reaches the basement and starts listening to creepy noises. Then, his interest turns to a hole within the wall where he sees what seems to be a seal this is beginning to crack. Upstairs, Julia is seeking out Henry so she asks Amy but she's nevertheless disillusioned along with her. Presently, Julia explains that they're presently broke and that the abbey is their only belongings left. Yet, she guarantees that once the reconstruction of the abbey is finished, they will promote it and they may move lower back to the us. Until then, Julia asks for Amy's assist with her younger brother, especially in looking to make him communicate. In the meantime, in Rome, Italy, Amorth receives in hassle for what he did a month ago lower back in Tropia. Dealing with the church tribunal, Cardinal Sullivan isn't always glad with Amorth's movement which occurred to now not have any permission from his advance. Simply then, Amorth reveals that what he did back then wasn't an exorcism because the person turned into no longer possessed at all but is really mentally unwell. In line with him, the general public requesting his assist, who are claiming that they're being possessed, are mentally disturbed. So, rather than appearing as an exorcist, he is alternatively being a priest and talks to those people until they get their heads instantly enough for him to advocate them to experts. Bishop Lumumba then backs the declare of Amorth, declaring that 98% of the humans he helped had been, later on, endorsed to doctors and psychiatrists. In Flip, Sullivan asks about the final 2%, to which Amorth states that the ones are the actual deal, regarding the proper evil which is something that science will by no means get to provide an explanation for. Sullivan grins at his declaration. Noticing it, Amorth tells the tribunal to get directly to the point, announcing that he once fought a struggle so he knows what a firing squad looks like. At this time, Sullivan well known shows that the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith has advocated that the position of the leader exorcist be formally vacated. He also provides that the church is in regular stress to keep their relevance and one way to do its far to move beyond the previous beliefs which includes possession and exorcism. Listening to this, Amorth asks what then is the function of the church if they, themselves, don't believe inside the life of evil. He then jokingly feedback that the congregation must need all of them out in their process. With that, Amorth is ready to leave however Sullivan insists that they're no longer yet executed. Because of that, he frankly asks them if that is approximately a lifeless lady named Rosaria Valandez whom he wrote approximately in a magazine, which shocks the tribunal. Agitated, 
Sullivan warns him to stand down and display appreciate to his advanced. In turn, Amorth tells them that if they have a trouble with him, they need to cross immediately to his actual superior, the Pope. And just like that, Amorth turns his return on the tribunal with disgust, leaving them striking with their nonsensical questions and tips. The next day, returned in Castile, production employees are in the basement, speak me about how creepy the place is. Shortly after, one in all of them notices the hole and attempts to reach what's on the opposite aspect of the wall. As he fails, the other one lighting fixtures up a flare to peer what's at the back of it. Then all of a surprising, it sparks a huge hearth that burns the two production employees, causing the foreman to tug out his group from the activity due to how dangerous the place is. On the identical time, Henry starts convulsing so Amy worriedly calls out for their mom. Henry Handiest stops convulsing whilst Julia calls his name. However to their marvel, he unexpectedly speaks after a year of being quiet, maintaining that they're all going to die. Simply then, Henry violently scratches his face, scaring Julia and Amy. Because of that, they right now took him to the clinic. However, the doctor says that there's not anything incorrect with Henry based on all of the checks that they've accomplished. As expected, Julia cannot agree with it after what she just saw. In turn, the doctor asks if Henry has been in any trauma lately, to which she tells them about his father. The physician asks subsequent how Henry spoke back. When Julia says that he hasn't spoken on account that then, till lately, the health practitioner notes that it is able to be psychosis. With that, the health practitioner leaves in a hurry and Handiest offers Julia a few sedatives she can use if ever Henry attempts to harm himself again. Later that night, the power within the abbey abruptly receives reduce and Amy unearths out that any person shuts it down. In the meantime, Henry grabs Julia's chest, worrying that she breastfeed him. Pushing her away, he rolls up his shirt and well-known shows cuts in his frame that write, hate. And to their horror, his voice begins to exchange as he orders them to convey him the priest. Due to that, Julia calls a squeebell so he can check Henry. But, simply as he steps within the boy's room, he is thrown away while Henry is screaming that they got the wrong priest. The following day, Amorth visits the Pope as he is said to be unwell. But, the Pope denies it and states that it's just what the others wanted. Then, he jokingly says that they ought to have executed their jobs too proper that the younger generations like Sullivan do not trust in the lifestyles of evil anymore the way that the antique generations apprehend it. 200 fallen angels had been expelled from heaven and have been driven under to the soil where God isn't welcome. He states that for the younger ones, this is an idea, but for the vintage ones, it's miles very real. Just then, the Pope tells Amorth approximately the boy in Castile, Spain that is said to be possessed by means of a Satan, relating to Henry. Surprisingly, something about it disturbs the Pope significantly so he desires Amorth to take the case. The Pope explains that the incident took area in San Sebastian Abbey, an area that had given the church large problems earlier than. In line with him, he's sensing a top-notch evil inside the location that handiest Amorth can address. With that, Amorth reviews the documents approximately Henry and San Sebastian Abbey. Afterward, studying the text, our sins will are looking for us out. In the long run, Father Amorth then heads to Spain right away to fulfill Henry and the own family. However upon arriving on the abbey, a properly inside the lawn catches his interest. No longer long after, he is approached by means of Esquibel and as soon as Amorth introduces himself, Esquibel says that he read all of the articles that he wrote. Amorth then remarks that his books are exact too so he need to study them as properly. Quickly, Esquibel introduces Amorth to Julia and Amy. Right now, Julia asks why the church is sending monks and why they're inquisitive about her son's case. In Flip, Amorth states that he's most effective here to test on Henry and advise how to help him. However the very last say will nonetheless be on her. Amy then factors out that it's worth the shot so Julia tells the priest in which Henry is. Seeing the boy in person for the first time, Amorth finds him slumbering so he starts off evolved praying. Just then, Henry wakes up and says that prayers are worthless in this region. Quietly, Amorth shows the San Sebastian medal to Henry and sees the eyes of the devil himself. With that, he asks for the call of the Satan and why he possesses Henry. The devil responds that he is Amorth's nightmare and that he likes to wreck the flesh of an innocent child. But to the priest's confusion, the Satan remarks that he desires the project of an exorcist's soul as nicely, insisting that it's right here for Amorth. As it speaks Amorth's name, 
The Satan says that it knows his nightmares and sins too. In a flashback, a morph become inside the battle in opposition to the Germans as a part of a partisan organization whilst they all of sudden got ambushed. Henry then vomits a chook that seems to be one way or the other familiar to a morph. Going out of doors of the boy's room, he tells a squeebell that they're dealing with a powerful devil. In keeping with a morph, the greater the devil is aware of, the better it smiles in their hierarchy. Later on, he tells Julia that her son is underneath the affect of a very powerful Satan so casting off him from the abbey will put Henry's life in risk. In that feel, Amorth asks if Henry underwent a few trauma, mentioning that traumas can be a gateway for the Satan. It's Miles then discovered that when her husband died in an automobile accident, Henry become with him and he noticed his father impaled. At the moment, Amorth tells Julia that she needs to maintain her religion because a mom's love is the nearest factor to God's love. Meanwhile, Amy hears the knocking sound once more so he is going to test on Henry. However to her horror, her brother creepily says that he's in hell, causing her to run back to her room. Abruptly, the cell phone rings, and matters get creepier as she hears her father speaking on the other line, saying that they're all going to die. Freaked out, Amy runs to her mother and tells her what her father stated. Listening to this, Amorth states that they should get a few relaxation while he and Asquibel deal with the Satan. Rapidly, Amorth tells Asquibel that Henry won't find along with the Satan in his frame so that they want to parent out its name so that you can in the end exorcise it. But, before going in, Asquibel confesses his sins to Amorth first, saying that it's been eight months due to the fact that his last confession. With that, the two priests move interior the room to make the devil admit its call. But, even as they're praying, the electricity shuts off and Amorth sees Rosaria in front of him, threatening that his sins will or seeking him out. In Flip, Amorth pronounces that his sins have been already forgiven by the Lord, however Rosaria factors out that he's the only who can't forgive himself. Later on, the devil name callings Asquibel approximately his mystery affair with a girl named Adela. Brought about, Asquibel assaults Henry and Amorth quickly stops him, pointing out that it is precisely what the devil wishes. Before the priests live, the devil tells Amorth that he just took the bait and that the holy church will crumble from the inner. Outdoor, Asquibel confesses to Amorth approximately Adela, saying that she become the love of his life. But she wanted him to choose her over being a clergyman and he cannot do it. So, he lied to her due to the fact his love for God outweighed his love for Adela. With that, Amorth blesses him and assures him that God will forgive him. In Flip, Asquibel asks approximately Rosaria, to which Amorth absolutely says that she became the female that he should have helped earlier than. According to Amorth, the Satan interior Henry is robust enough to experience their guilt and use it against them as a distraction. Right now, he remembers the devil's words approximately him taking the bait. Simply then, he realizes that the devil is scheming something bigger than what it seems to be. With that, he orders Asquibel to live outdoor Henry's room at the same time as he is going to take a look at the well within the garden. There, Amorth is taken aback upon seeing the seal of the Vatican on the lid of the properly. Starting it, he discovers that the nicely is built with several corpses with a gas deposit, and every other seal at the bottom. In the meantime, in the abbey, Asquibel, Julia, and Amy are all attacked by means of the Satan. When Amorth comes returned, he finds Asquibel bleeding from Henry's chew. Then, they pay attention the ladies screaming so Amorth enables Julia while Asquibel rescues Amy. In a while, they take the women into the chapel wherein they can rest without difficulty. Quickly, Amorth goes return to the well with Asquibel to expose him what he observed. And to his marvel, there's the seal of the Spanish Inquisition, that's the darkest time within the history of the church. As it seems, the corpses at the nicely are the folks who refuse to be converted. With that, Amorth believes that there's still more hidden underneath them so that they go to the basement wherein they discover the hollow in the wall. There, any other Vatican seal is embedded, the only that Henry noticed before. The two priests force it open and it leads them to a catacomb wherein the corpse of the ultimate cardinal protector is caged in the middle. Amorth then exhibits that the cage is not his prison however is clearly protecting him from the devil that he turned into trying to exorcise. Going similarly, Amorth searches the corpse for a key and that they control to open a locked gate, main to what seems to be a throne room. Even as all of this is happening, the Pope finally figures out what Satan Amorth is handling causing him to have a difficult time respiratory and be taken to the health center. On the same time, Julia wakes up and reveals that Amy is lacking. Getting ready for the worst, 
She takes the sedatives and heads to Henry's room wherein she discovers that the devil is controlling Amy as properly. Going again to the two monks, they see any other corpse and Amorth recognizes him as Friar de Ohada, one of the finest exorcists of all time. Beginning his journal that has the seal of the Spanish Inquisition, Amorth and Esquibel discover that upon failing to exorcise a effective devil in Segovia, it then possessed the exorcist and used his frame to do all the horrible things that happened for the duration of the Inquisition beneath the call of the god. Worse, the church protected it up and buried the reality, explaining why the devil instructed them that the reality will are trying to find them out. They then discover a world map where some locations are marked purple. Remembering the phrase in Revelations, Amorth realizes that San Sebastian Abbey is considered one of the 200 locations on the planet in which God isn't welcome. Finally, they figure out the name of the devil owning Henry, that's Asmodeus, the king of hell. In Flip, Asquibel remembers that the devil was searching out a sure priest again then and it became out to be a morph. Due to that, they assume Asmodeus wants to repeat the beyond by way of owning every other exorcist to bring the Vatican down and cause chaos in the international. But, given that they now recognize the call of the devil, they prepare to ultimately exorcist it out of Henry. Earlier than that, Amorth desires to make his very last confession approximately the factor he regretted the maximum. Returned in 1942, at some point of the ambush, every person in his unit died, besides for him. This left young Amorth questioning why God spared his lifestyles until he found out that he changed into intended to serve him and his humans. However whilst it mattered the maximum, he failed. In the future, Amorth is referred to as by the family of Rosaria as she insisted that she turned into possessed. However, Amorth found out that she became mentally unwell and no longer possessed. Because of his pleasure, he didn't assist her because he's an exorcist and no longer a psychologist. Subsequently it's now not his task. Unfortunately, this backfired on him when he witnessed Rosaria take her personal life, cursing Amorth for not believing her. At this time, Asquibel comforts him and blesses him in order that God forgives him of his sins. With that, Amorth and Asquibel are now confident to face Asmodeus. Additionally they ask for Julius and Amy's assist, telling them to hold on praying for Henry. But, Asmodeus is genuinely powerful and it shows the two monks Rosaria and Adela, the two women that they failed. But, they triumph over it and get returned into exorcising the king of hell. Then, all of a sudden, the devil stops fighting as if Henry's death already. And to their horror, Asmodeus turns out to absolutely possess Amy as properly. She then assaults Julia whilst Henry receives back up and hangs Asquibel into the air. Understanding that there's most effective one manner to save all people, Amorth eventually offers himself to Asmodeus in trade for their protection. In Flip, the King of Hell gladly takes his provide and we could pass of the kids to possess him. In the meantime, the Pope all of sudden receives woke up feeling that something occurred to Amor. On the same time, the Satan also makes his presence recognized to Sullivan with the aid of making the figure of Christ bleed within the church. After a while, what's left of Amorth orders Asquibel to get the own family out of the abbey. Then, he tries to take himself out however the devil gained it allow him. It then takes him into the throne room in which he sees Holy Mom Mary turns into Rosaria. However, Asquibel comes to a decision to come back for Amorth and finds him sitting on the throne. He tries calling out for him, but Asmodeus scoffs him that Amorth is already long past. However, Asquibel's faith in God and Amorth is strong so he starts exorcising Asmodeus out of the priest. Slowly, Amorth starts off evolved coming lower back and they pray together until Asmodeus leaves his body. But, it manifests via Rosaria and Adela so the two clergymen need to fight them and put them in peace as soon as and for all. Ultimately, through their unbending faith, Amorth and Asquibel defeat Asmodeus. Tomorrow, Amorth and Asquibel cross to the Vatican where the Pope welcomes and commends them for a process well achieved. He then tells Amorth that the congregation wants a complete document of what befell in Spain. Listening to this, Amorth feedback that Sullivan will just say that he's imagining things but the Pope states that Sullivan is taking a sabbatical adventure in Guam so he doesn't need to worry approximately the congregation. Similarly to that, Bishop Lumumba takes his region so he will simply aid Amorth in every manner. The film ends with Lumumba taking them to big church archives wherein they have been studying and finding the 199 other unholy locations where God is not welcome, assigning Amorth and Esquibel to exorcise them.